Are you curious about how the ketogenic diet actually works? What are the pros and cons? Well, in this video, I'm gonna break down the principles of the ketogenic diet, how to do it the right way, how to do it the wrong way, and so much more. Let's do this. Hey, Ben Azadi here, best-selling author of three books, founder at Keto Camp, and here at Keto Camp, we're on a mission to educate and to inspire one billion people. Let's get right into this. Keto is not a diet. Keto is a metabolic process that has been around since humans have existed. That's right, 2.5 million years. You see, our ancestors, every single one of your ancestors, they were in ketosis. They didn't have the luxury of going on their phone, hitting a button, and having the Uber Eats driver on their door 30 minutes later. You see, they were forced to go into ketosis by their environment, and our body is hardwired this way. So let's talk a little bit about some of the myths out there, because when you go on Dr. Google, or when you speak about keto to a friend or a coworker, they're gonna say, oh, it's just a trend, it's just a fad, it'll go away soon. Well, it's been around for 2.5 million years, I don't think it's going away anytime soon. Keto is not about eating a whole bunch of fat. It's about going low carb enough to teach your body and your cells to choose fat and produce ketones. And I'm gonna break it all down for you. I'm gonna do some cool drawings for you so you can see how it works at the cellular level. But let me just give you a brief history of ketosis. Back in the 1800s, the Romans, they thought individuals who were having seizures, who were convulsing, they thought they were actually possessed by the devil. They thought these individuals had demons inside of them, which was causing them to shake and convulse and have these seizures. They didn't know what a seizure was back then. So here's what they did. They would take these individuals, put them into a room, close that door, they don't have food, they don't have water, come back the next day and their seizures would be gone. The demons would be gone. What did they do? Well, they forced them to get into ketosis, which actually is a powerful tool, as we know from research, for seizures, right? Let's talk about Pythagoras now. Pythagoras, who's a famous Greek mathematician, he systematically required his students to fast for 40 days before they could even enter his course and learn from him. Why? Because he knew by day 40, they would be in deep stages of ketosis and they would be at a peak mental state. And we'll talk a little bit about how ketones fuel the brain, but that's a powerful example. The last example here when it comes to the history of keto is back in the 1920s, researchers knew that ketosis is a powerful tool for children with epilepsy. And they would use a ketogenic lifestyle for these children to cure their symptoms. That's why keto has been around forever. We know that. Now research is coming out every single month showing the benefits of it, and mainstream media likes to bash it when you do it the wrong way. They're right, it could be a problem, but we're gonna talk about how to do it the right way. Let's understand that ketoacidosis is not the same thing as ketosis. Ketoacidosis is a very serious event where you have significantly high levels of ketones beta hydroxybutyrate over 15 in the bloodstream, this could be a deadly thing. This is only cause for concern for those who are type one diabetics. You have to closely monitor your numbers so you don't get into ketoacidosis. If you're not type one diabetic, then ketosis is gonna be where you're gonna fall and you're gonna feel great and look great and the ketoacidosis is completely different than ketosis. I hope you understand that within your body right now, you have the world's greatest healer you could call this healer a physician. You have access to the world's greatest healer, and that is the human body. You see, we are such a magnificent creation. You are a miracle, and you are a masterpiece because you are a piece of the master. I'm gonna reveal to you, I'm gonna show you exactly how ketosis works at the cellular level, how it works with your cells, your DNA, your hormones, and if you do it the right way, the way I'm gonna outline it for you, you're gonna achieve extraordinary results. So before I get into my drawing and showing you how to do keto, please hit the thumbs up button if you haven't done so already, and subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. Okay, let me show you how this works at the cellular level. So this is how keto works at the cellular level. I'm gonna break down this is, it makes sense for you, so I'm taking you back to your biology class, but we're made up of 70 trillion cells in the human body. I said it earlier, you are a masterpiece because you are a piece of the master. Every cell has within it your DNA nucleus. It's true, when somebody tells you you cannot change the genes you were born with, they're right. You were dealt those deck of cards, you cannot change it. However, you can change the expression of those genes, which we'll talk about shortly. 
Inside of your cells, you have the mitochondria, which is the energy power plant of your cells. It's producing ATP, which is the gasoline of your cell. This stands for adenosine triphosphate. We have around your cells this lipid bilayer called the cell membrane. This lipid bilayer is made up of protein, saturated fat, and cholesterol. That's right. Your cells, all 70 trillion of your cells are made up of fat. It loves fat. And you're not made up of carbohydrates, by the way. Less than 1% of the body is made up of carbs. This is where keto is so powerful because you're literally giving your body and your cells the building blocks it needs to burn fat, to produce energy, to feel good. Now on the cell membrane sit these cell receptor sites. They're also called integral membrane proteins. What we need to understand is the communication process, the orchestra here between the cells, the receptor sites, and your hormones, the nutrients you're eating, and the oxygen that you are breathing. Let's talk about the hormones. We have at least 600 hormones in the body that we know of, and we have our fat burning hormones, our fat storage hormones, we have our longevity hormones, we have our feel good hormones. Hormones are the language of the human body. They are chemical messengers. All they're doing is sending signals to your cells so these receptor sites could pick it up, they hear the message, and it goes into your cells to tell your cells to do the job, which is to burn fat, to produce energy, to feel good. That's the way you were designed. You are magnificent. The nutrients you're eating does the same thing. Goes to these receptor sites, oxygen, same thing. Here's the problem. If you're not doing keto and you're eating a whole bunch of carbohydrates or you're doing keto the wrong way, which we'll talk about later, you're now creating cellular membrane inflammation. When you are creating cellular membrane inflammation, now all of a sudden your hormones, they're still, still sending signals to your cells. The nutrients, you can be taking the best supplements in the world, but now these receptor sites, they are blunted, they are blocked. It's like you screaming at me, but I can't hear the message because I am deaf to the message. They are deaf to the hormones, to the nutrients, to your oxygen. When you eat carbohydrates, this is what's happening, or I should say, when you eat too many carbohydrates, when you're burning sugar, the 70 trillion cells in the body could only choose two sources of fuel. Either we're burning sugar in the form of glucose or we're burning fat and producing ketones. That's it. So here's the comparison. When you are a sugar burner, eating high carbohydrates, you're not doing keto, you're eating every two to three hours, that creates a lot of cellular smoke. So I'm gonna compare that to a truck that is speeding through the highway with all the smoke coming out of the exhaust pipe. It's not healthy for the environment. Burning sugar is not healthy for your cellular environment. When you apply the principles that I'm about to teach you and do keto the right way, clean keto, and teach your cells to now produce fat, burn fat for fuel, and produce ketones, that's comparable to a Tesla that is cruising through those streets it is cleaner for the environment. Burning fat is cleaner for your cellular environment. And when you start reducing cellular inflammation, when you do keto the right way, all of a sudden, any symptoms you have, whether it is fatigue, skin issues, weight gain, weight loss resistance, and even diabetes and insulin resistance, this symptom is not the problem. If you're overweight right now, hey, I understand. I'm somebody who was obese for most of my life. I weighed 80 pounds heavier than I do today but I never had a weight problem. Nobody in the history of this world has a weight problem. It is a weight symptom. That's what Dr. Berg says all the time. We don't lose weight to get healthy. We get healthy to lose weight. How do we get healthy? We do clean keto. We teach ourselves to reduce inflammation and by default, as a side effect, we lose weight. We have more energy. We live a long, healthy life. So this is how keto works at the cellular level. I hope this makes sense to you. And you understand now that keto is a very powerful way to teach yourselves how to communicate the right way. Before I get into a little bit of some more tips for you, let me know if you are trying keto. Have you been doing a ketogenic lifestyle already? How long have you been doing it for? Put the comment down below, I'm curious. And if you're thinking about doing keto, then type down below, I'm thinking about doing keto. Let me know by commenting down below. Also, hit the thumbs up button if you haven't done so already, and also subscribe and hit the bell so you're notified when we go live. Look, burning fat is our primal birthright. When you look at babies, did you know that babies are in and out of ketosis? Because breast milk is made up of saturated fat, protein, and cholesterol, which actually helps the development of that brain because the brain is 80% fat. And the brain is an energy sucker, meaning it's 2% in body weight, but takes about 20% of your total energy needs. So we wanna make sure we're fueling that brain 
with the right nutrients, which is protein, saturated fat, and cholesterol. When you are in the great land of ketosis, it is like a superpower. I do it not for the weight loss because I already went through my transformation. I do it because I feel magnificent. I'm in ketosis right now. I'm mentally sharp. Brain fog goes away. You think clear. You're able to deal with any kind of stressors that come your way. So the list of benefits for ketosis are endless, but there is a caveat. There is a catch. Keto needs to be done the right way. When you go on Dr. Google and get those 100 million results looking for how to do keto the right way, most of the information out there is going to teach you how to do it wrong. It's going to teach dirty keto, which actually can increase cell inflammation and you're not going to feel good. You might be in ketosis, but you're not going to feel good. So I want to teach you the dirty keto versus clean keto principles. I want to give you a grocery shopping list. I want to outline it all for you in the next video. So stick or tap this video right here so I could reveal to you clean keto versus dirty keto. Grab your pen and paper. You're going to take this list with you to the grocery store and it's going to make all the difference once you understand the difference between clean keto and dirty keto. So stick or tap that video right here and I'll see you in the next video.